Could pulling hair be effective in a street fight or in a fight in general? That's this week's question of the week. I was talking to my friend um, Dan C. Bearded a couple months ago, and uh, we was discussing, we was going back and forth discussing the topic of could somebody pull on your beard and get a significant advantage over you to to um, defeat you in a fight? And um, we went back and forth on our discussion, and then a friend of mine recently said, "Well, if I ever got in a fight with you, Saad, I'd just..." I know how to handle you. I'd just grab your beard and um, I'd get you in line. I'd beat you. And I thought, oh, that's funny. That's cute. But um, it's funny that somebody says that, but it's totally unrealistic. I'm Saad Alaziz, the owner and head instructor of Simple Fortis Jiu-Jitsu here in San Antonio, Texas. And I'm here to tackle this week's question of the week, which is basically, could hair pulling, whether it's head hair or pulling on the beard, be a decisive tactic to use in winning a fight? And um, it's, it's one of those myths that goes around because I think when people who are now adults maybe fought in grade school or middle school, like a hair pull could be a decisive victory, you know, because it's painful and, you know, people would stop fighting. But there's no evidence throughout history that this has been effective in warfare, like for instance, the Spartans, the Vikings, the Huns, the Celts, the Saxons, the Persians, the Mongols, the Greeks, they were all known for having um, beards and um, they went into combat and did very well and no evidence to say, oh, somebody was in a fight with them and pulled their beard and somehow struck a victory. Because in that situation, it would be really disadvantageous because the problem with pulling the beard or pulling the hair is yes it's painful to the person whose hair you're pulling no doubt but it's not decisive meaning if you're pulling on some viking you're in a battle with some viking you're pulling on his beard with one or two hands that means one or two hands are engaged in causing pain to that viking the problem is both that Viking's hands are free and he might have a dagger or a sword and he's steadily stabbing you because if you can reach him, he can reach you. He's steadily stabbing you. The problem with stabs is in a self-defense situation is they feel like punches. When you get stabbed, it doesn't feel like you've been cut. It feels like, oh, I got punched a couple times and it might not be until a little bit later you realize, oh, I'm bleeding out. I've been stabbed multiple times. So. I would not recommend pulling on somebody's beard or their hair in a street fight because they're close to you now. Um, and also, if you're dealing with a grappler, that for you to pull my beard, that means I can reach you. And, and when I say grappler, that could be Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, that could be Judo, Greco-Roman wrestlers, um, high school collegiate wrestlers, um, Russian Sambo fighters, um, that means they can put both their hands on you and now introduce you to the ground with a double leg or a single leg or just a pick you up and drop you you know while you're holding on to the beard so because if you're holding on to the beard or even the hair you're at arm's length and so it it could be a real problem for you because one you're just inflicting pain on them and yeah it's gonna hurt a little bit but not as decisively as you might think. And, um, you know, fights in general, you know, a lot of times, you know, people get stabbed, or they get shot, and, um, or they take a catastrophic injury, and um, you're like, oh shoot, you just got hit, Bill. And Bill's like, oh, I'm okay. But Bill's got a big gaping hole in him. Bill is very far from being okay. But he doesn't realize it at the time. So. What I mean by that is like when your adrenaline is going, you know, like these things don't hurt as badly as you might think at the time it's happening. Like the next day, like when I used to box in the 70s and 80s, man, the next day, you know, like when I got hit in the face during the ring, it never hurt, you know, but the next day, like my hands would hurt, my face would hurt, my body would hurt because I'm really feeling those punches the next day. But in the moment, pain, does not have the effect that you might think it would. It's like, mm, you know, so 
I would highly recommend don't grab somebody's hair or their beard with the thinking of this is going to be decisive in your victory because it's not. Um, I spar all the time and people accidentally grab my beard. It's not comfortable, but it's not like, ugh, you know, oh, here, let me tap out. Like, this is just too much. No, it's like, ugh, this is annoying, but you can fight through that. And when adrenaline is up and somebody's fighting for their life, oh, you can rest assured they will fight through the discomfort of a beard pull or a hair pull. So I, w I would say it's just a myth. Um, pulling a beard or pulling a hair is not going to give you the type of advantage that you, you might think it would. It's not going to be a big decisive thing. It could be a real disadvantage. So I would recommend not doing it. Um, you know, for instance, um, lions have big manes. And if you ever get bit by a lion, you could try pulling its mane, see if he'll let go. But I'm thinking it probably won't. All right, that's my dad joke for this week. So, hey, thanks for uh, checking in. Um, got a question or any insights on your ideas on pulling hair, whether it's beards or head hair, you know, feel free to share below and um, we'll all learn. And if you got a question for next week, feel free to fire below. Ciao.